There are hundreds of crappy Minecraft ripoffs out there attempting to emulate even a fraction of the success of the world's most popular game. Most of these Minecraft ripoffs fall blatantly clear of Minecraft though, missing many of the game's core features with extremely janky mechanics, bad graphics, and terribly buggy gameplay. But what if instead of trying to create a ripoff of Minecraft, shady individuals from countries like Russia just stole the game entirely, somehow bypassing the Google Play Store, gaining hundreds of millions of downloads and making unfathomable amounts of money? Introducing Crafting and Building, an app featured on the Google Play Store with over 50 million downloads and 134,000 reviews at 4.1 stars. Pretty good. Let's play it. Interesting, the game looks extremely similar to Bedrock Edition, more specifically Pocket Edition. Wow, even the play menu looks the same. There even seems to be a bunch of preloaded worlds that I've seen on Bedrock Edition before. We'll create a new world though. Would you look at that? It's so similar to Bedrock here as well. These settings are all identical if I recall correctly. Okay, new world is loading. Oh, gotta be sure to click OK here. Damn, it's taking some time. Hold up a minute, what's this? An unskippable 30 second AI girlfriend ad? Okay, never mind that. That we are in. And wow, this looks like Minecraft. Sounds like Minecraft. The mechanics play like Minecraft. The movement feels like Minecraft. And wait a minute, this is Minecraft. That's right, if you haven't guessed it already, crafting and building is quite literally Minecraft Pocket Edition with a texture pack enabled. Think I'm joking? Let's go to the settings menu, once again identical to Pocket Edition, and go to texture packs, and you'll see there is an already enabled crafting and building texture pack, which cannot be disabled. There also happens to be a disabled original textures pack as well. And if that wasn't convincing enough already, guess what? Let me show you multiplayer. Besides once again looking identical to better Bedrock, they also literally have the Bedrock featured servers here. That's crazy though, are we going to be able to play official Minecraft servers on a stolen version of Minecraft? Well, if you try to join the servers, it would tell you that you have to sign in. Doing so leads you to this very familiar looking login screen, which it seems the crafting and building developers have modified to hide a particularly notable company. You can in fact sign in with your Microsoft account, but I'd advise you not to, we'll get into that later though. Here's some links to Microsoft pages they forgot to remove from the settings menu as well, further providing evidence for that by the way. For now, I've signed in on a throwaway account and wow, success, we are in. Now let's try connecting to one of these servers, the hive sounds good, and uh, outdated client? Damn, what about Cubecraft? Yes we are it- Oh, for the love of God, another damn ad. Anyways, I joined and we are currently online Cubecraft, an official Minecraft server on a stolen version of Minecraft. And no, this isn't some fake Cubecraft either. This is the official one. I can even see myself online on the actual Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Everything is entirely playable. In fact, you can even connect to Java servers using Gazer as well. Here I added my server, og-network.net, which is Bedrock compatible, and I could very well join the server, just as all of you should, both Java and Bedrock can play, but crafting and mining seem to be running on an older version of Pocket Edition, which is no longer supported. I checked my server's console when I tried to connect, by the way, and just to confirm beyond reasonable doubt, it did in fact recognize this game as an official Bedrock client. You can even add Xbox friends, and it will detect your online status as if you were also playing normal Minecraft. They've yoinked the entire damn bedrock friend system as well. So you may be thinking, is anything different at all about crafting and building? And yes, a few things notably. First of all, there is no marketplace here. I'm guessing they couldn't steal that, and if they did, then Microsoft might actually crack down on them. But you can still edit your skin with a variety of marketplace skin packs I assume were also stolen. Hey, at least they are free here though. You can even access the capes. Following suit, since they can't make money from the marketplace and since the game is free, they obviously use ads as we've already experienced. You can actually click this button here to watch ads in advance to give you ad free time when playing, which is very interesting. Beyond that, everything else is identical, but maybe we can find out more information about who is behind this using their social media and website. The Twitter has a decent number of followers, but hasn't posted for about half a year, only tweeting updates to the game they stole. Their Facebook is identical, although notably, they have a much larger following there and get a lot of interaction on their posts. Okay, what about their website? Surely that will have more information. Well, besides their Twitter feed, they mention they build mobile games, but clicking learn more doesn't go anywhere at all. Okay, let's try Google and YouTube then. 
Google drew me more blanks. There is so little information about this app out there, but there are some YouTube videos. These are basically just YouTube Let's Plays with no voiceover or anything, but this channel is quite popular, so why don't we take a closer look? Wait, what is all of this? Why are there so many similarly named apps? And this is where I truly discovered the stolen Minecraft rabbit hole. Just like how you can discover the various history surrounding my YouTube channel in Minecraft Worlds with my newly released Patreon. That's right, if you guys would like to support me and my channel so I can continue uploading weekly videos without fail, as I have for almost four years straight now, consider subscribing to my Patreon. You get a variety of perks, including the world saves from my past Minecraft experiments, like our place, as well as their plugins and source code. Or you could get the custom models, like the white eyes model from my video. You can also gain access to 49 of my old YouTube videos from 2014, which have been private for almost nine years, where I sound like this. Hey guys, what is up? XX crazy one as well as access to uncensored versions of my censored videos and my various Minecraft worlds from 2011 with interesting historical tidbits. Link is down below. Anyways, this channel with 400,000 subscribers, GBabs, is a Minecraft ripoff showcase channel because as it turns out, crafting and building isn't the only one in that genre. Far from it. Let's check out Craftsman Building Craft, a game with over 100 million downloads and 3.3 million reviews on the Play Store. A super popular game. It's huge. I'll boot it up here and what's this? A 30 second unskippable ad immediately? That's fantastic. Star Game 22 is really giving YouTube run for their money here. Regardless, we are in now and this panoramic backdrop is rather interesting to say the least. Could do with it being a bit high quality and not cube shaped, but oh well. Notice how similar the menu is to Pocket Edition once again, especially as we enter the Create World screen. Obviously, this is another stolen version of Minecraft with a blue colored reskin. In fact, this this one seemed to even attempt to integrate the marketplace. The ads on Craftsman Building Craft are seriously crazy. I was getting 30 second ads before I could even boot into a world, so they must be making bank. Anywho, while it has twice the amount of downloads, if not more, compared to crafting and building, it is significantly more bare bones. Besides looking quite scuffed, you can't play any servers at all in this version, and the skin customization does not have many options either. There's even less effort put into the reskinning here, as practically all they've done is make the UI blue. You can also see once again that they have enabled by default their texture pack. But it doesn't end with Craftsman Building Craft. Let's boot up Craft World Master Block 3D. Wow, what a fan! Fantastic name. Another app with over 100 million downloads, and what would you know? And what would you know? Not only is it a stolen version of Minecraft, but it's a stolen version of a stolen version of Minecraft. Or maybe Craftsman Building Craft stole it from them, but regardless, it's identical. From the crappy panoramic background to the blue GUI, extremely intrusive and annoying unskippable ads, everything. Okay, so this confirms that Craft World Master Block 3D did steal from Craftsman Building Craft, as they didn't even bother renaming their texture pack. Now, stealing from a thief what they also stole isn't exactly uncommon in this strange world. Let me introduce you all to LokiCraft, LokiCraft 2, LokiCraft 3 Game Crafting, LokiCraft 4 Crafting, LokiCraft 5 Crafting, LokiCraft 6 Pocket Block, LokiCraft Craftsman, LokiCraft Super, LokiCraft 2024, and LokiCraft X, all by different developers, many with millions of downloads. We will start with the OG LokiCraft, which has over 100 million downloads, by developer Axeno2. This game would not open on Bluestacks, so phone footage will have to do. Once again, it's a completely stolen Minecraft Bedrock version, also with endless intrusive ads. They've got some old FV Disco-esque resource pack going on here as well. Now, rather than have the Bedrock featured servers, they have a selection of their own featured Java edition servers, most of which are Russian, rather unsurprisingly, although there's also a bunch of English servers here as well, like MC Complex, Lemon Cloud, Fade Cloud, Vortex Network, and Jackpot MC. I was curious curious if these servers have some sort of deal with LokiCraft or something, so I messaged the owner of Jackpot MC and asked him if he knew anything about this and he told me he wasn't even aware of LokiCraft's existence. Very odd. Now, the strangest thing is that I couldn't actually join any of these servers. Every time I tried, the game would crash. But then I realized that to play, you probably have to log in with HitCraft and then you can join. But most won't let you regardless because this stolen version of the game is very outdated. LokiCraft Two by the same developer with over 10 million downloads is much of the same. In fact, it's legitimately identical to the original LokiCraft, even the ads are the same. However, LokiCraft 3 game crafting by a different developer with over 1 million downloads is where things get... 
is where things get interesting. Loki Craft 3 seems to just be a renamed version of Craftsman Building Craft and their other app with the blue reskin we talked about earlier. So it seems the already stolen Minecraft was once again stolen. But if you thought it couldn't get any better, then wait until you see Loki Craft 4 crafting. Another Loki Craft stolen by another developer, which in an absolute twist, oh for the love of god, is actually a stolen version of Bedrock Edition for PC rather than Pocket Edition. These lazy bums didn't try to hide it either. They didn't even bother reskinning the UI, it's just basic vanilla Minecraft with a constant surge of literally permanent ads. I genuinely can't close these, this is absolutely unbearable. Anywho, besides the extremely low quality background and logo, it's just Minecraft Bedrock Edition without some features. I tried to add a server to see if I could play online, and then the multiplayer section just straight up stopped working. You can't log in with Microsoft either, so clearly Loki Craft 4 has some kinks they still have to iron out. Wow, what a letdown! But never fear, because these same developers released Loki Craft 5 Crafting, now with over 5 million downloads, and hold up, did I open the right game here? This isn't Craftsman Building Craft, this device is no longer supported, wait, what? Oh, and we are finally in, and surprise surprise, it's another lazily stolen Bedrock Edition filled with ads. This version seems to be really old, as you get this message whenever you go to play online. Fortunately though, Loki Craft 6 Pocket Block by another entirely different developer also exists. There's a Unity logo upon opening it, interesting, and then nothing happens. That's odd. Is it broken? Let me try to restart it. And wait a minute, since when did I download Craft World? That's right, it seems Loki Craft 6 Pocket Block is actually a stolen Minecraft ripoff game called Craft World that they didn't even bother renaming. Hilarious stuff. Let's not fret though, because Loki Craft Craftsman, an ambitious crossover between two monolithic entities in the Minecraft ripoffs world, joined together for a game that surely won't disappoint. Once again, by an entirely different developer. And as it turns out, Loki Craft Craftsman is actually just a stolen version of Minecraft called LokiCraft X, which already exists on the App Store by the way. And hilariously, I'm getting ads for other LokiCraft versions with literally millions of downloads while playing the sixth damn version of LokiCraft here. This one even encourages you to log in with Microsoft and has more Russian servers featured as well, although it's too old to play on most. Let's just skip to LokiCraft X then, since we are already playing it anyways, and yes, they well and truly got ripped off by LokiCraft Craftsman here. And once again, and sure enough, it's just a stolen version of Minecraft. I think that's enough of LokiCraft now, there's many versions we didn't even play by the way, it's absurd. Okay, so there's a lot of stolen versions of Minecraft on the Play Store, that's abundantly clear now, but how? How did they steal the world's biggest game, Minecraft? And how is this even allowed on the Play Store in the first place? These games aren't exactly flying under the radar here, some have over 100 million downloads. Well, the first clue as to what's going on, we actually all saw without even realizing. Remember when we opened that first game, Crafting and Building, and a Unity logo appeared for a brief few seconds? Well, according According to some of you internet sleuths, the crafting and building app actually has two games in the app bundle which you download. The first of which is a Minecraft clone made in Unity, thus the Unity splash screen, and the second of which is just straight up Minecraft Bedrock Edition. What these games do to pass the Play Store review stage is only display the fake clone during the review process, and then after the review is accepted and the game is on the Play Store, they switch it to the stolen one. After that, I guess nobody just bothers to review it or check it again. Who knows? Okay, so that explains explains how they bypass the review stage and are able to feature on the Play Store in the first place. But there's still one big question. How did they even get access to Minecraft Bedrock Edition? Well, you sleuths also helped me out here, and rather unsurprisingly, sent me this link to a dodgy Russian forum where it seems you can download a variety of cracked or pirated Minecraft versions. There's also a tutorial here, written in Russian, of how exactly one of these individuals pirates and cracks the game. First, they download the Minecraft Pocket Edition app from a different location like the Aurora Store. When you download the app from the Play Store, it automatically installs, but downloading it from the Aurora Store allows you to download the installer without actually installing the game. Then they use a program called Split APK Installer to extract the installer files from the APK. Normally you can't access these files without root access, but specific programs can extract them. 
once extracted, you then merge these files into a single APK file and then edit the details of specific files, allowing you to effectively crack the APK. Once that's completed, you build the APK again and you are done. You have just pirated Minecraft Pocket Edition. It's generally more complex than that, but that's the gist of it. I don't exactly want to give a detailed tutorial on how to steal Minecraft here. Supposedly, you can even create an APK that allows you to log into official Minecraft servers without requiring an Xbox or Microsoft login, effectively allowing you to play them for free. Pretty crazy stuff. Here's a YouTube tutorial where it's done. Once again in Russian, of course. Whenever shady Minecraft servers, launches, and anything Minecraft related come to question, you can always expect the Russians to be involved somehow. Speaking of Microsoft, is it safe to log into these games anyways? Well, as far as I can tell, they don't ask you for any extra permissions or access to specific things on your account like past scams, which still Minecraft accounts do. So it seems like they could be okay. I would highly suggest you do not log into them though. What's crazy is that we only really scratched the surface of the stolen Minecraft app world. And while on the Play Store, downloading and playing many of these games, I encountered so many other apps with tens of millions of downloads, all with almost identical names, app icons, and more. It genuinely seems like the Wild West here. Some of these apps are even paying for ads, which is probably how they get so many downloads in the first place. It's crazy to think that if you combine all these stolen versions and apps, you're looking at likely over 1 billion total downloads, a monumental figure. Regardless, it's a truly interesting world. Make sure to check out my new Patreon. Your name could also be featured right here on the screen in future videos. Link is down below. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching.